it says here in chapter 2, a family that would take over the priestly duties of Eli's family. That was one of the consequences of their sin. I think this promise was fulfilled with the rise of Zadok, who displaced Abiathar as high priest in Israel, which we can read about in 1 Kings and 1 Chronicles. And Zadok became the priest instead of the children of Eli. Um, mentioned uh, Abiathar was one of his descendants. And God replaced them as priests in the kingdom. So we've, we've applied some things here, but let's, let's look at some other applications. One is we need to talk about sin among church leaders. We've already mentioned this a little bit, and we need to continue to think about this. What profit was there in being priests for Hophni and Phinehas? It was all physical. They got fat off of this job. And God condemned them for it because they thought only about themselves and what they could eat and what they could get out of, of this particular relationship. As Christian leaders, we need to think about what we can give to the Lord in all of this. We also need to understand that without a sensitive heart, like Samuel had, all of our service is useless. You know, we can be the most giving people around, but if our heart isn't right as leaders, all of our service is useless. Another thing that we need to understand is that God places conditions on some of the benefits that he gives to us. You know, blank, if blank fails to maintain, remain faithful to their calling and uphold biblical principles of discipleship and will eventually lose God's favor. Hugh will eventually, if he fails to remain faithful to God's calling and uphold biblical principles, will lose God's favor. Deacons, if we, ref if we fail to remain faithful, we will lose God's favor. Sunday school teachers, if you fail to be faithful, you will lose God's benefit. Dads, moms, Awana leaders, singers, players, whatever your job is in this world, whatever God has called you to do, we need to know that without being faithful, we may eventually lose God's favor. We all are placed in this in some way or another. And we need to understand that. We also need to know that sometimes God comes along and, and confronts a person with their sin. Hophni and Phinehas uh, were told that they were going to die for their sins. They were warned. Now in the church, every once in a while, we have to warn people as well. This is what Matthew tells us to do and some other places in the Bible. Now we don't like to. We like you to take care of your own sins. We like you to... to to look at your life every day and examine your life and confess those sins. But if, you do, if that doesn't happen, if there are sins that are affecting the congregation and sins that everyone knows about and sins that you're not taking care of yourself, then the Lord says we have to step in and confront people with their sin in order for them to be saved. This is always the goal. It's not to condemn people. It's not to judge people. It's so that people can be saved. But let's end on a happy note. Sometimes you just got to sing. <laughs> Maybe that's the last lesson we need to learn from, sec from 1 Samuel chapter 2. Hannah was given a new child in her life, a new baby, and she just had to sing. Singing helps shape our thinking and prepares us for the day and gets us through the day. I hope that you learn the songs that we're singing, whether we're singing great hymns of the faith like Holy, 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 or new choruses like Holy, 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 you know, whatever they are. You need to let the choruses and the hymns that we sing infiltrate your life because singing helps us get us through the day and sometimes, you know, that's the only thing that will get us through the day. Singing is a great part of the Christian life, whether you can sing, Sing or whether you can't. I finally found a song that, in, that the choir sings that was designed specifically for me. Because it said down there at the bottom of the song, without rhythm. <laughs> that was written for me. Finally got me a song. <laughs> um, you know, whether you can sing or whether you can't. Whether you just want to listen to songs or whether or not you want to sing songs. Singing can help us get through the day. Singing is a great response to what God has done for us. And as San Hannah sang, because God had blessed her, we need to sing as well. And that's why 
We're going to stand and turn to hymn number 70. I surprised my pianist. My... That's why we're going to turn to hymn number 70 and stand, and we're going to sing all three verses of Hiding in Thee, because sometimes you just got to sing. Hymn number 70, we'll do all three verses. <laughs> 